All right, I'm finished. Wait, I gotta shower. Oh, hold on. Ba -da 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 -da. Record. Oh, there's a surfboard there. All right, it's falling. Well, here I am. Um, I took notes so I could talk about what I wanted to. Uh, sorry that there's this big mic here. My road mic has been broken apparently for the last two cities that I've logged. So Poland and Berlin. Basta. It was a no-go. So, uh, why did I start vlogging? Um, well... Anthony Bourdain was a huge influence. I've talked about this before. I'm pretty sure I talked about it in one of my first vlogs. Um, Anthony Bourdain's a huge influence. I wanted to do something like that because I am living in Sicily, uh, Italy. And it's a very, very unique opportunity. So I figured let's do something like that. My buddy told me to watch this documentary. I can never remember it. Um, anyways... So I watched that, looked up Casey Neistat, got really inspired, and I'm someone that, that is kind of somewhat impulsive, so as soon as I was like, I want to vlog, I bought all the gear, got all that stuff, uh, I started out with a 70D and a PowerShot Mark II, and now I also have a 5D Mark IV, which is what I'm shooting on, but I only have a 50 for it. So, the past few times I've vlogged, it's kind of been tedious, it's, it's almost been a chore, and it hasn't been something that's been fun, and... Obviously, I make stuff because I want to share it. Well, it's not obvious. I'm, I want to make videos so I can share with you, the audience, who isn't able to have this opportunity, um, who can't come to Europe and live here. Uh, I want to give you guys the opportunity to kind of travel and see what the world's like uh, through someone that you can relate to because I'm just an average guy. Um, I just happen to have a very cool and unique job, which if you don't know, um, I'm a, a radio DJ in the military and I've do videography and photography for the military as well. So I wanted to give you guys videos that you could see and think about how cool that was and maybe plan a trip for the future. Um, something that seemed really interesting that you could relate to. And I feel like for my past few vlogs, I haven't been able to do that. And I have this kind of like mental stigma. Um, a lot of vloggers, they will shoot their like vlog, which I think is really cool. You're like a one man crew, but then they'll also stage stuff, which is something that I had a really hard time with until like just yesterday. So I was thinking about it. I was doing a lot of self reflection on kind of what I wanted to get out of this. And that's something that I, I realized was a kind of a stigma that I had that was kind of silly because if you're setting up the shot and getting it yourself, then in my opinion, that's still vlogging. But for me, I think I need to change up my shooting style. I need to be more artistic. Um, I need to get some more artsy shots rather than just holding it the whole time because that footage looks silly. It's not stable. Um, it's cool, but for the whole video, it's um, a little redundant. So I think having those shots that uh, kind of change up from that are a little bit better. I haven't done any videos where I'm sitting down like this in a great while. So I want to start integrating that into my vlogs. Um, I don't know. So something in my self-reflection, I've been doing this the past couple of weeks. I'm actually house sitting right now and I just cleaned the whole place, which I'm sure you saw. I organized this whole downstairs. Um, so house sitting in Sicily for a couple of weeks. So I have all this time to myself. Um, I normally live on base. So getting off base is a great opportunity to kind of have some self-reflection, uh, all that good stuff. So in the past week, I've been kind of thinking about what I want to do. I really want to get a website up. I really want to streamline my vlogs. And I kind of want to have a basic plan for next year. So I just started watching this YouTuber, this vlogger, Peter McKinnon. Fantastic dude. Super inspirational. Like Casey Neistat was the guy that made me want to get into vlogging. Peter McKinnon is the guy that makes me want to get better and like make my stuff look professional. So I kind of came up with this idea for next year. I'm going to try to stick to it. I'll let you know for sure if I'm going to do it before the end of the year. But I want to do a video every week next year. 52 videos in one year. I know that sounds ridiculous, but the fact that I shoot video for work, um, I'm about to start podcasting with my buddy Scotty if he ever wants to come through and do it. Um, that should give me plenty of opportunities to have video, whether it be just like a sit down and talking to the camera kind of thing or an actual vlog, an actual video, something like that. I would like to do 52 videos next year. 
I would like to have a theme for each month, kind of getting better. Maybe do 52 photos next year, like one every week. I don't know. I just know that me personally, I need a change. What I'm giving to you guys is an interesting, and it's not interesting because I'm not being myself, I guess. I don't know. I'm not, like, you guys who know me know that I'm freaking weird. I'm out there. I'm, like, one of a kind, and I don't mean that in a narcissistic way. I just, like, I'm very strange. I love it, but it's not coming across when I'm vlogging, and so I want that to come across. I want you guys to see who I actually am. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't know. I want to I want to figure out little tweaks and changes. Something that I want to do that I'm going to start doing is I take notes all the time, but something I never do is take notes for video, which I was just watching a Peter McKinnon video yes, today, and he was talking about taking notes and the importance of it for him, and I noticed that Peter and I are very similar. We're both really organized. Um, like that's our thing. We like to take notes. I mean, this is just preliminary on the surface stuff that I've noticed that are similar um, similarities between us. So I really want to start taking notes with my videos. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of changes that I want to make. And uh, hopefully I'll be kind of documenting them and sharing them with you guys because... I don't know. It's a really unique opportunity and I don't want to waste it. So I have about a year and three months left here. So I'll see what I do with it. Anyways. Um, yeah, kind of a rant and rave video. Um, I don't know. I need to be creating. I need to be doing this for me so that I can do it for you guys. That's kind of my mentality right now because I've been trying to, the mentality I've had is I want to put out product for you guys, but I'm not pleasing myself first. So I need to do what's right for me. I need to make me feel good, look good, all that stuff on the camera. I need to make the shots look good, not like me personally. But I want to have everything tight. I want it to be artistic. I want it to be something that the viewers will actually enjoy that I enjoy. And then I think you guys are going to like it a lot more. So stick with me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like this video. I don't even have 100 followers yet. So I think once you get 100 followers, you can name your channel. I don't know. So help me out. All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for sticking with me on this one. And uh, I'll see you later.